Hello guys, Light here, with a channel update and a gameplay video at the same time. Before we get into the update, if you wish to skip the update and proceed to the gameplay video, then feel free to skip to the allotted time showed on the screen. Anyway, first up, as you can hear, I've got a new microphone, and I've been planning on at least to try my hand at making a couple video commentary playthroughs. Bear in mind, it's not going to be all the future videos that, is, that are going to be coming up on the channel. It's only going to be a few. But, I figured it's been a long time coming and I guess there's a demand for that kind of content. So at the end of this update discussion, you'll get to see the first proper commentary playthrough on the channel. Bear in mind, I am not used to it. I do tend to stutter a fair bit. And, well, let's just say it's not perfect. I do hope to get better as things do progress. For those who did follow me on Twitter to only find out that my account got wiped, I have created a new one. I will not go into any details on what caused it to happen, but I will say that commenting on certain events in the gaming industry and questioning those who have done wrong is likely to cause trouble, especially if you're not part of a certain group. Anyway, I do wish to warn you that on Twitter I'm a little bit more opinionated on there and some of the content that I may like or share or at some point even produce might be a little bit on the NSFW side of things. I am warning you guys in advance so if you don't wish to do so, you don't have to. The link is in the description and pinned comment. As for any other links, there is my BitChute account, which has backups of most of my newer videos. The only reason for that is because with each passing day, YouTube is only getting worse. It does not mean I'm abandoning shit, but I'm preparing a lifeboat for the inevitable end. I know for some, BitChute may not be for them due to some of the content posted there, but it's the only readily available backup I have at this point in time. If you are interested, the link is also in the description and pinned comment. That's all I've got to say today, I wish you guys well and have a good day. Now on to the gameplay video. What's up guys, Light here with a video commentary playthrough. Today I'll be playing the Doom mod in Sandy's Requiem with the map Deep Sea Labs. Bear in mind I am very goddamn nervous considering this is my first time actually trying to pull something like this off, but I guess we got, I'm not going to get anywhere with me just talking, so let's jump right into the game. Select the Punisher. All round guns are balanced, I guess. And we'll select our difficulty. We'll play on the medium setting, which is called Black Watch Elite. That's this is actually the recommended setting. I mean, I would play on a harder difficulty, but clearly, I don't have any faith in my abilities to be able to play this game and talk at the same time without dying a metric crap ton of times. Well, without further, further ado, let's, let's jump right in. As you can see, we have mission objection objectives. Sorry about that. Uh, our objective is to destroy the reactor and escape the facility. I can breathe underwater thanks to the suit that has been provided by the UAC. Plot device in here. Just plot devices and stuff. Let's... Let's just get to it. Take the simp out right here. And take the rest of these guys out. Go with them. Alrighty, we got some a-hole with a chain gun. To which he can... I have a good place where he can stick that. A That's one. a problem sorted. I'll save the order shotgun ammunition for later. 
Right now, we just gotta do all the pinky stuff. And then there's gonna be barons or hell knights in there along with a couple of it, a couple of imps. <laughs> to which we'll take care of it in the order shot. Because why not? Nice! Let's toss a little lead in the air! Okay, let's get into the airlock and seal it up before flooding the area. To which we'll be able to exit the airlock area and explore around the underwater parts of the facility. I do not want you to get hit because I'm pretty sure if my armor runs out, I'm pretty much screwed. Game is really safe for us, thank you. I mind the uh, one lies of boost points given to the player. Ooh, what's this? Don't mind if I do. The Harbinger. The Harbinger. Shit. You know, I don't have the weapon on me at the right now. I hope I can find it. I mean, it's this really big chain gun type weapon, water cannon type, water cannon type thing that really does a lot of damage. Okay, I'll switch the quad shotgun to four barrels and then climb up here, deal with the Baron. To which I'll switch to something weaker to take care of the rest. I, mean, I know it's not exactly the done thing to use the pistol, but I guess it's saving on everything else. I'm able to wipe these guys out with one magazine. And take out the rest of the take out the rest of these guys with not it. Well, except this guy. That guy's an asshole. Yeah, I'm having none of that guy. Okay, let's open the red key door. And unflood this area. And while picking up all these all this ammunition. Okay, I got the stomp right I'm not that it's gonna be of any use yet. Could use it like this. Double tap and reload. Sprites look actually decent. Yeah, those have been downscaled. Pretty nice, actually. Doesn't really conflict much. Doesn't really conflict with any of the existing stuff in the game, so... Why not? Yeah, no, I'm not gonna use the pistol against these guys. I'm gonna ventilate them with a shotgun. Already? Well, there's one left. We got a bunch of pistols, which will be of no use, and some armor. Now we just go down to the under underground temple like area and deal with revenants. I mean, sure, the revenants are still assholes, but. Well, the, sh the default shotgun kicks ass. That guy. Switch the quad barrel shotgun, wait for this guy. Crap, did not work. It won't work, it work against this guy. Realized I was using him on the wrong mode. That could have been a lot worse. Nope. Get away from me. I 
guy sorted. Switch to the rifle shotgun. Keep finding these, these upgrades, but I have no gun to make use of them. And probably I have no ammo. So, damn. <laughs> Back. I'm not dealing with your bullshit today. Who else is still alive? That guy. But you. Had enough. It's bad enough that that guy's a total asshole on TV. Don't really want to deal with him in this game either. Okay, switch for the start rifle. I'm not going in close to anyone. I have to say, the gore effects look pretty, pretty nice. I mean, unleash your into, unleash your inner internal decorator. Okay, that was pretty bad. I'll pick up the armor. Pick up all this good stuff. No harvest should get me done. Still got a flamethrower. <laughs> oh well, I'll <laughs> take the rail gun. Yeah, baby. I'm gonna pick these guys off one by one. I am not wasting the sniper rifle ammunition. Oh, these guys are hella devoted to their force to attack me. These guys are relentless. That's fine, I'm relentless too. Available, so it's not really much of a problem. But I do not want to use it. At least not yet. I need to shield the lost. That's what it's going to take the arrow. Still keep camping these guys and go ahead and go in and deal with them later, so. I'm still save on flame for our ammo, so. Get like that. And from the, da from the damage I'm dealing to these guys, I might as well be using an anti tank rifle. I'm gonna take that box and douse them in napalm. All the while staying well clear from the flame blast because it's going to damage me a lot too. I mean, this thing is OP, but it's OP in the right way. As in, it's going. It will wreck enemies, but will wreck me too. That's why I'm going to use the uh, quad shotgun on this guy. Picking up honor packs. Of course, just in case the shield runs runs dry. Give him a nice flame bomb. Fire doesn't discriminate. Okay, here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm going to use the uh, auto shotgun to take care of the first wave. 
top of the order, shook and all the, uh... Oh, I haven't used this yet. I'll use the I'll use a rapid fire weapon before I take care of the crazy auto shotgun. The literal bullet hose. Yeah, you might, might as well be carrying a thousand plus rounds for this thing. That's including real. Okay, that's those guys. Switch into the order shotgun. Still got about 500, under 500 armor points available, so it's still pretty good. This is where things get a little bit dicey. Because they're throwing around revenants and negatives. We'll make you buy. Sater friends. Seriously, these guys are total dicks. Come on, pop your fucking head out. Come out, asshole. Got him. Okay, I'm going to switch to the flamethrower and go nuts. Cyber demon, so I'm going to uh, save the game real quickly. I am not replaying this. I'm not going to replay up on the stairs. So. Best deal for now, and not regret it later. I mean, this flamethrower doesn't mess around. Melt cyber demons. I mean, watch how much health he has right now. Watch how quickly it takes him down. Not to mention the left of the flamethrower. Oh boy. Left of the left of the flame still damage him a lot, sir. I'm sure this guy may be pretty pissed off, but I guess. <laughs> Not for long. Okay, I'm going to switch to the rail gun. I've got about 28 in reserve, 28 rounds in reserve, and uh, four in the mag. It should be enough for what I'm wanting to do. Pick up the rail gun and flank our mags and. Really waste I mean, the cyber demons do have a lot of lot more health to probably compensate for the OP weapons we're, we're giving here, but it's not real issue. I mean, as long as you got a railgun or a flamethrower or any or that molar cannon. Pretty much good. I'll provide you not playing that chillax mod. Despite being called chillax, it's you will be doing anything but chillaxing. More like wetting yourself in terror, but I mean, all for the sake of artificial difficulty. Take care of these guys. I got one map left. Finish the rest of these guys off the flamethrower. Load. 
Mooi snap hem ook. That's those guys taken out and sorted. We have to shoot this core next. Three, two, one, click. And it's still alive. Wait, why am I messing around here for with a sniper rifle when I can just burn it? There, problem solved and the map is done! Well, this... This went a lot better than expected, actually. I mean, I was expecting to die a few times. Glad it wasn't the case. Well, that's all I have for you guys now, so, uh, this is Light, signing off, and I hope you guys have a lovely day.